Well, hey, you're watching What Was That About? Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Moses Khan. I am with Dr. Tony Saldana, who is the lead pastor here at All People's Church. How you doing? Good day, sir. You doing well? Yes. Just looking at your sweater. Nice. It's like... Pray for pastor. He's very battling temptations. Cowish. For potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> or send Amen. him potato chips. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us today. Um, the next generation, it's a scary thing. They are scary people, bro. They are scary people. At least some of them are. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm close in proximity to their age than you are. Mm. And I still don't get them. Mm. Now, we are, we are speaking about college, university, yes. aged individuals. Yeah, and really our question is, what is happening? What in the world is happening mm. in these college colleges and university campuses, mm. Mm. specifically as it relates to um, their blind allegiance to um, liberal and West left-wing agendas, propaganda, um, radicalism. They're so radical, so emotionally tied to uh, all these issues. Mm. Um, and it's as if they are the victims. They victimize themselves. And so it's, mm. it's, it's scary. It's wild. And, you know, I was thinking, like, imagine being a conservative um, in this sort of environment. How scary would that be mm. for a young person? Yeah. Well, first of all, you know, first of all, I think what, what you are seeing is the manifestation of the trash. Can I say it this way? Mm -hmm. The trash ideology mm -hmm. that these people have probably been taught right through middle school, yeah. high school. Yeah. And now, you know, you're at this university college level. You think you know it all. Mm -hmm. And by the way, these are supposed to be the, the brightest right. amongst us. This is... Right. This is the future. Mm -hmm. This is the future. And they are completely indoctrinated mm. in hatred. Yeah. You know, here again, not not all of them, but enough of them. Right. They are embittered. Yep. They are angry. Mm -hmm. They are entitled. They always seem to be on the wrong side <laughs> of the equation. Mm -hmm. They have absolutely no discernment right. when it comes to good and evil. Yeah. All they can do is is justify mm. when 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 there are reports in Israel of of babies, mm. you know they they don't actually attack the fact that babies have been murdered. They question whether they were beheaded. Mm. Like it's like oh, so if they were murdered, <laughs> it's okay. Your issue is that they weren't beheaded. Right. Like, like, it is absolutely astronomical. It yeah. is perplexing mm -hmm. at how, I, I'm going to have to say it, how, how not only blind, but how stupid, mm. how literally ignorant mm -mm. some of these people have become. And the, the venom, yeah. the venom that they spew and the passion that they spew it with mm -hmm. is unbelievable. Yeah. So it, it is, it, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about this mm -hmm. because I'm watching this and I'm, and I, and I'm thinking, are, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Are, are you kidding me? The, the audacity right. of these people. Yeah. And, and they're complete. Can I just say it this way? They are unhinged from reality. Mm, wow. They are unhinged from yeah. truth and unhinged from reality. Yeah. So true. So true. You know, Isaiah, Isaiah said it this way. He said, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, you know? And I think that's, that's what we're seeing. These people are so blinded from reality that they're calling evil good and they're calling good evil. And, you know, what's interesting is you and I, anytime we're, you know, tackling an issue, you know, whether it's political or has to do with racism or social injustice, whatever, we... We're very careful to say, hey, we're not attacking people here. We're attacking the agenda. We're attacking the spirit. But if you notice, they don't do that. Mm. They attack people. They make people their enemy. And, 
And I think that speaks to the hatred, the poison uh, that is inside of them. They take one class in whatever they, you know, in politics, and all of a sudden they are now experts and can get, give advice on, um, you know, situations that have been here for hundreds of years, and yet they think that they have understood them and understand them. And so, yeah, they, there is, I think what scares me is the hatred that they project onto people, that people become their enemies, nations become their enemies, um, and they have no ability to discern and see right from wrong, good from evil, and they have this weird emotional attachment. They cry over everything. Mm. They cry over everything. And so you're left to treat them like they're victims and they're the oppressed because it's kind of like it's kind of like the person who apologizes to you and then calls themselves, oh, I'm so stupid. I should have never done and that what do you gotta do? You can't accept the apology. You gotta no, you're not stupid. You're, mm-hmm. And it feels like those are the kinds of people we're dealing with um, wow. in these places. Isn't it true? Mm-hmm. They're they're always they're always wearing the clothing of victimization. Mm-hmm. They're not even their own issues. Yeah. Like like sometimes I mean I mean you have you have people now dressing up as Palestinians that are not even <laughs> remotely Palestinian. Yeah. And 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 they wear they wear their victimization like like they're the ones mm-hmm. that have and have been offended. And we see it in other groups. But here's here's the other thing that I notice, you know, the things that they say they stand for, mm. whether it's women's rights or gay rights or whatever, it it only it only seems to apply to whether it's the women or the gay people or the group that's within their belief system. Mm. So if you have a conservative standpoint, yeah. you know, or if you have Israeli women mm-hmm. that have been raped, murdered, that's okay. That's okay. We, yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't stand, you know, we don't stand against that because you know, those people, mm. those people don't count. That's the hypocrisy right. of their ideology. That's the hypocrisy of of their philosophy. It is completely flawed. Yep. It's based on absolutely nothing other than I believe some sort of self-righteous cause mm-hmm. where where they pick the you know the individuals as mm-hmm. you will or the movement that they think is quote unquote the oppressor. Right. And then that's what they attack. Yeah. That's what they criticize. Yet Yet they're they're not educated in history. They're yeah. not educated in experience. Mm-hmm. Like you say, they take one class and now all of a sudden, they are they are world mm-hmm. experts. Yep. They don't do their research. They don't find out what the truth is. And even when evidence is presented to them, it's still not acceptable. Mm-hmm. They parade in the streets. They yeah. are they are threatening, violent, intimidating people. And these are the people that tell you they're the most tolerant. Mm. They're they're about peace <laughs> and they're about peace and love. And yet they're the most vicious, nasty people. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if if this program were to air in certain circles, they'd have no problem <laughs> destroying us, threatening us, and yeah. and saying, "Hey, we've." We have, um, you know, we've done, we've done us a favor. You, yeah. you know, we've done the world, if you will, yeah. uh, a favor. And I wonder, you know, I wonder if it's that spirit that cries out for Barabbas mm. instead yep. of Christ, right? It's that same. Give us the murderer, right? Yeah. Give us, give us the rebel. Give, yep. you know, give us anything but God. Mm. Give us. It, that's what that spirit is. Give wow. us anything but God. And then, yeah. of course, it just becomes the mob mentality. But. Mm-hmm. Um, what is what is very disturbing is you know we have leaders that just I think just they just love to say you know we have zero tolerance we have zero tolerance for hatred and racism really arrest people right <laughs> you know you have laws arrest people you know Pastor Moses here's the truth they treated the truckers who by the way for the most part were very very peaceful mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. They treated the truckers, freezing bank accounts, taking trucks away, licenses away, fining people. They treated the truckers in Ottawa worse than they treat these people. Yeah. Those people were not racist. Right. Those people were not spewing evil. Hmm. They, they had an issue against the government and vaccines. These people, mm-hmm. and by the way, it's in Harvard, Columbia, mm-hmm. uh, York University here yep. in, in Toronto. Now, in fairness, the leadership of some of these u- universities have denounced these people. Mm, Expel okay. them. Throw them out. Throw them. If, if you don't want them in your school, yeah. and if you're serious about this, throw them out. I love that some organizations in the United States said, we will not hire. We will not hire students from Harvard and from, from your education if these are the types wow. of people 
and ideology they have. And here's the other beauty, the the cowards that wear masks, mm. you know, they wear masks, yeah. you know, because you don't want people to know who you are. Oh, That's you're so right. passionate about what you believe, That's right. but you won't show your face. That's right. You're a coward. Yeah. I'm going to call you what you are. You're a hateful coward. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well said. I know there's people even who have spoken up, um, to defend, you know, Israel and, and all of it that have just gotten bashed, have uh, been told, hey, you know, your supervisors should find out that that you support all this stuff and you should be fired and you should be let go. And it's like, okay, what about the other side then? Should should those things also be done to, to them? Yeah. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are on this, but I, I think what scares me is, you know, even as we talk about this being the next generation college and university students, um, they have created this this world, this domain that if you enter into their space, you are not allowed to think differently. You know, if you think, you know, an opposing thought, an opposing opinion, you oh, you are going to you know be discriminated. You're going to be hated. Um, you're just not labeled. A, labeled. You know. Yeah. Um, which is that whole mob mentality, but it's, isn't it interesting is, is they can't change the opinions of logical people through reason. So they try to do it through intimidation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so we'll, humiliation. yeah. And humiliation and shame. And so it's like, yeah. because they don't have any logic, any reason that they can bring forth to go, hey, here's what we can present to change your mind. And so we're going to have to shame you. We're going to have to guilt trip you. We're going to have to manipulate yell you, you, yell at you, mm -hmm. vandalize, do all sorts of things. Yep. Um, it's it's crazy. Yeah, you know what? And, and really, a lot of it is a lack of emotional intelligence. Mm. People don't know how to have crucial conversations. Yeah. They don't know how to have uh, positive conversations mm -hmm. and, and respectful conversations that even though I don't maybe agree yeah. with your point of view, uh, I can still respect. I can still listen to you. Mm -hmm. The the moment that you bring an argument, they they want to shut you down, silence you, humiliate mm -hmm. you, ridicule you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, government leaders do that. The media does that. Mm -hmm. Anyone that voices any kind of opinion against anything that seems to be on the radical left hand side of things, they're 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 childish. Yeah. They're immature. It's good and quite frankly, I, I think you're right. They can't think. They mm -hmm. can't reason. Mm -hmm. I think they're blinded, completely blinded by their own opinions, mm -hmm. and and they can't they can't even hold a a respectful conversation. This, yeah. you know, th by the way, this is what I believe will be the culture of of the end times. This is mm -hmm. this is how the mark. This is how the mark of the beast will will gain such momentum and notoriety. There will be no argument. <laughs> there will be no resistance right. there because they will they will they will crush you. Yeah. And they call you things like, you know, you're you're a Nazi, you're a fascist. And and you know what the, the truth is? It's them. Mm. The very things so true. the very so things true. that are in their heart. Yep. They call other people. Exactly. And it comes out. And Jesus dealt with this all the time, too. Um, you know, people mm -hmm. calling him, oh, all sorts of things. And he goes, well, in reality, if you were really, if you understood who God was, you would see who I am. Yeah. And so. And this is why we do this program, you know, mm -hmm. to say, hey, we're going to speak truth. Mm -hmm. We're going to speak it uh, honestly, yeah. respectfully. Right. And we're going to bring it forth. And we want to encourage people, because I can't tell you how many people secretly come to me. Mm. Oh, you said this on social media, you know, I agree with you, but because of my job and my position, I can't. You see what they've created? They've created a system where people feel so threatened mm -hmm. that if they say anything, they could be fired, they could lose their job. That's true. And, and we say we live in a democracy. <laughs> this is not a democracy. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I think I think this next generation, we have to stop telling them that they're world changers, because part of <laughs> well, maybe they are. Part of the I think <laughs> part of the issue is they are not equipped to handle the amount of information and the amount of conflict that they see and are faced with every day, mm -hmm. and they're being bombarded and told, oh, you're going to change the world, you're the next generation. And we're all for leadership, we're all for development, we're all for, hey, making change and all of that. But when you, you, when you get crushed under the weight of that, you begin to do stupid things. Yeah. I was saying that, you know, they are world changers, but not in a positive not way. Not in a positive way, yeah. Certainly not in a positive That's way. True. They are. They are just 
completely toxic. Mm -hmm. they, they have, you know, there's a scripture in Hebrews that says that the root of bitterness defiles many. Mm. These people have been poisoned yeah. by the root of bitterness mm -hmm. and they just go around poisoning other minds. So true. So true. Yeah. Hey, listen, tell us in the comment section what you think uh, about this topic. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, share it with a couple of people you know. We thank you uh, for your support. As always, Pastor, thanks for this conversation. Thank you, sir. God bless you. We will see you next week.